Hi everyone. I wanted to do a little bit of a series of videos on recovery. And the advice I'm going to give covers all sorts of different recoveries. So this can be a recovery from training, training for a sport, training for, for running, recovery from um, an illness, a recovery from uh, a medical kind of procedure, all sorts of different things, because actually the rules are pretty similar to each other or the helpful things rather than rules are pretty similar to each other. So today's video, I'm going to be thinking primarily about sleep. So I think we're quite good in our society at valuing sleep when it comes to sleep for children. So I think we're quite aware of the fact that they need quite a lot of sleep because they're growing. And also we can see quite clearly that impact of lack of sleep on their behaviour, on their learning, um, on their energy levels. Um, but that doesn't stop when we become an adult. It's still there. But I think from a cultural perspective, we're kind of encouraged to push through and devalue sleep. But sleep is valuable for us, particularly when it comes to recovery, for the very same reason that it's really valuable for children, is that the processes that they go through when they're growing are really similar processes to what our body goes through when we're repairing and recovering. So again, be that from illness, uh, a medical procedure, from training, our muscle is going in there and strengthening or rebuilding bone muscles, strengthening tendons and ligaments to uh, recover from either the training session or the trauma that your body has gone under. So sleep is unbelievably useful from that perspective. You know, maybe a nap um, after a, a long run in the afternoon, if you can, or at the very least, making sure that you get your seven to nine hours of time asleep and be aware of the fact that time in bed needs to be longer than time actually asleep to make sure you get your sleep hours right. So really think about prioritising sleep when it comes to recovering quickly from, from bugs, illnesses, recovering from injuries, recovering from medical procedures, recovering from your training. It works in very similar ways across the whole lot and it's really undervalued, I think, these days in our society. And it also helps our brain. When we're sleeping in certain types, you might have heard of phases of sleep and, and REM sleep, deep sleep. In these different phases of sleep, our bodies process our experiences, our memories. They remove too much emotion from those memories. They also um, help our learning, help our cognition. Um, so again, another reason why sleep is really valuable for children, but continues to be really valuable for adults. So when we're challenging ourselves with learning a new skill or with a challenging job or again with training, you know, that sleep can really help us to um, take on board everything that we've learned during that day, um, process it, remember it, but also take away the positives from it as well, which has got to be super useful. right? hope that's helpful.